Hey, 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 thank you for watching my channel. I am the Divine Maverick, and this is your midday snack. This is your quick, quick, quick tea. So um, last night, last video I did last night, uh, we got a good channeling. Well, they're always good, but you know what I mean. We got a really good one, and I remember the word compromise. Overall energy for today's tea, midday snack, it, wow, Divine Masculine, <laughs> flipped over. Yeah, um, so this is about him. I was trying to ask, I was asking the question in my mind, like, is this for Divine Feminine? Because I thought that maybe the, the message about compromise was for Divine Feminine as well, but I guess uh, clearly it's for the collective. Now we got the compass card out again, 42 and 29 trying to come out again. These numbers are important. These numbers are important. Get into numerology. Get into understanding what the numbers mean, angel numbers, and just uh, um, uh, progression, progression, progressions. So um, let me put this down. I had, to, I had to pull something right quick. So um, if this is your first time watching, thank you so much for being here. Give this uh, video a thumbs up if you like the content, as well as subscribe to the channel because it'll put your energy in these card decks. All right. So last night we had a message about compromise that said it's um, only... Com true compromise or compromise. Oh Lord, y'all gotta watch the video. But it was like, um, I know Million Dollar Mama has it. She she transcribes the videos when we get downloads like that. I love her for that. Thank you, Million Dollar Mama. But anyway, it was like, you only compromise when you're getting something out of it too. You don't compromise your values. You don't compromise who you are. And because Divine Masculine wanted to peek his head out, I'm um, this is the tea, the midday snack for him. So I don't know what he needs to compromise about. I don't know if it's a if it's a meeting you halfway, um, uh, letting go of some of his um, standards, not standards, but well, there. Wow, it came out again. Yeah, direction. So I feel like it's coming towards you or something. It feels it feels very uh, uproot and relocation is what I'm hearing. Uproot, relocation, relocate. Maybe you guys have to compromise and both leave something behind and come together. Um, Meaning like uh, up, I'm, I'm hearing very strongly uproot, uproot. So if they have a house, you have a house, you need to get a house together. If they are at a distance, you're at a distance, um, you, they need to come to you. You need, wow, what was that? You need to come to them. <laughs> right. I think this was in reverse though. Did this fall out in reverse? Let me see the deck. Oh, the flowers are on the bottom, you guys. This was in reverse. Okay. Yeah. Because because that'll that'll get rid of a lot of the disappointment. The sun card in reverse, you know, this masculine energy in reverse is um, this could be somebody that is selfish. You know, I am picking this up. Ace of eight of, eight of, Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords. I'm sorry, Ace of Pentacles is um, in order to get something started. You know what I mean? Um, there needs to be a compromise. There have probably been delays. There have probably been some selfishness and somebody didn't want to move. Somebody didn't want to change. And this is card number 31, which is a four. So this is about um, unstable foundations or shaky foundations. So again, you you and your, um, I doesn't see you and your person, but the person that you're watching this for, you know, I feel like the disappointment is rooted in the lack of compromise. Okay. The lack of compromise for, and, and if they are dealing with a situation where they need to compromise because it's blocking them from true happiness, then, then that's what, that's what's needed because truly somebody needs to follow their, their North star, you know, follow their, their true North, North star. <laughs> and it leads to heaven. Speaking of heaven. Um, and I, I don't want to, I'm, I'm still in the tea, y'all. This is midday snack, but I got to say this. And Kamika is going to probably scream and every everyone else, everybody else has sent me something. Y'all know I love y'all, but I got to tell y'all, I and I never do this. Y'all know if you watch my videos, you've never seen me do this, but... I got to say, one of one of our beautiful divine feminines, and there's a few of you that's doing some major things, and I would love to partner, even for like Valentine's Day, because I was thinking when I woke up this morning, I had a major download, um, or maybe it was just a, little, a quick little epiphany, but I felt it felt major to me because it woke me up, but it was like a read and a and some luxury you know what i mean a read and some luxury like maybe 15 minutes of a read with me and then you also order or get it's like a basket I, that's what i saw like a valentine's day romance basket so you light a candle you get a reading or or light your candle while you're getting your reading and or putting on your body butter come on um butter baby you know that's what i'm trying i'm not trying to leave anybody out and then my dear sweet um i, I want to call it ap apothecary apothecary and things. Oh, I can't think of her name now, but she's going to kill me. But no, don't, don't kill me. Please don't charge it to my head. Uh, I mean, charge it to my heart, charge it to my head. I'm doing this. I probably do this video over again. No, I'm going to just stay like this. This is who I am. But anyway, I sprayed this. This is why I'm telling you this because her, her, 
brand is Aura Luxury Scents, as y'all can see it. And this scent, it's a room freshener. It's called uh, Flame. When I tell you this is like Jesus, Buddha, Lakshmi, Yemaya, Oshun, Obatala, um, uh, Kuan Yin, everybody in, in one, like you spray this and it's like heaven. The, the smell on this will literally take you someplace. So again, those of you who do all this beautiful candles and, and, and body butters and all that stuff, and especially the ones of you who have sent, sent it to me, please, y'all got 25 different names, different email addresses, names, aliases, all this. <laughs> I got, I'm getting confused. So it's a lot of people to try to keep up with. So email me again, because I want to put something together for Valentine's Day with a read and your product um, for you. It's not, it's not benefiting me. I mean, well, it will, because it just, you know, lets me touch the tribe more, but I'm just saying this, they, she has candles and, and these air fresheners and diffusers. Y'all, I'm serious. I'm so serious, but I just sprayed this one this morning before I did the read, um, and it was just like, oh God, I could just feel the the message come in. <laughs> so, so there, and I, and again, Kamika, I'm not trying to put you on blast, even though you do have a business, but I don't want anybody else to feel slighted or offended. It's just that this morning I woke up and I sprayed um, the flame, and it's just I've been meaning to say something about all of you all, and I got to figure out how to do that. Um, anyway, anyway, anyway. So yeah, here we go. Let's go back to let's go back to the midday snack. That was random, but it needed to be said because I could still smell it. It's it's well worth every every dime. Okay. Anyway, um, so the masculine is wearing a mask. Clearly, um, we when this card came out yesterday too. Y'all can remind me in the comments. But I I believe if you've been following the last three days of teas midday snacks, then this is this card has been coming out. Actually, all these actually these cards have coming out. And I oh my gosh. And I did shuffle the deck. I promise you. Okay. And now we have the fox out again. So like I said, with the with the mask, this masculine is being trying to be more more sneaky. Um, and not in a bad way. This is not, I'm not picking up negative, you know, you're with a, uh, a dirty fox or wolf. Is that a fox? Yeah, a fox. Um, I'm picking up more, they're, they're compromising their values in holding on to something that's probably no longer in alignment with their true north. You know what I mean? No longer in alignment with who they are. And if this is resonating more with you, Divine Feminine, like I'm holding on to this situation and I'm tired of compromising my values and my standards and, I, and, I'm, and I'm ready to go somewhere else, you know what I mean? Go in a different direction. That is totally okay. Especially if you have the sun in reverse, especially if you're feeling more disappointment than you are joy or growth or healing, okay? Because really you're breaking away for a season or for a moment. Maybe, I'm shuffling these cards again, you guys. So you will know that because the same some of the same cards are coming out, which is a good thing, I guess, because we're, we're keeping a congruent message. But I just want to make sure that, um, you know, I just want to shuffle because I like to shuffle while I talk. But, you know, part of your moving away. Let me finish my sentence. Part of your moving away, Divine Feminine, would be um, what would aid in your growth and your healing. OK, um, goodbye is never goodbye when you're talking about uh, relationships like this. When you're talking about a divine connection like this, goodbye is never goodbye. It's just like a see you later till I get myself together. Okay, the card deck is not upside down. All right, so let's, let's, ooh, all right. So yeah, this is a new one. So right, and that's it. See, I was just talking about that. So get ready to start something new. You may need to start something new. This is not lost to me that it's a number 13, which is another four. Okay, so we have 31 out here and we have um, with the sun card, ready to go. We have 31 out here see it and then we have a 13 so every time i see a the number switch i know that there needs to be a change there needs to be a switch something that you need to change places with somebody some of you just need to have a little more empathy because your divine masculine is in a situation where he cannot be um out in the open he's got to do things very very much behind the scenes all right and with that um that barn in the back look See, there's a prize he's trying to get. And, you know, a wolf trying to get a hen because that's the hen house, right? He's like sneaking all around the hen house. You're the hen, boo-boo. You're the hen, all right? And so he's got to do whatever he has to do to get this change together. The 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 wolf, I, I keep saying wolf, but the fox, because it was a wolf moon, right? But the fox is definitely wanting that hen. That's that's their, their prey, you know what I mean? Don't see it in a bad way. And look at the rooster, you know? Yeah. And somebody's like, just, and look. And see, the fox has to be kind of slick because the rooster's going to tell. See that rooster in the back? The rooster's going to, the cock's going to crow, right? Ah, 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 the alarm's going to sound, right? And he's been doing this nine of um, wands for a minute. Like I said, you've been, you've been at this. There's that nine again, right? You've been at this for a minute with this person, right? And now we have card number 39, which is a 12, which we know is a three. But this is like, um, 
uh, the fool card for me. All right. This is the equivalent of the fool card. This is going in a new direction, taking a risk, leap of faith, you know, taking a gamble. And I feel like this divine masculine needs to take a gamble and you need to take a gamble too and maybe compromise. You know what I mean? It's not coming off of your throne. It's simply making your throne. Um, oh, okay, good. So we had this card. That's good. That came out in reverse and it actually hit something and spent around. So I think some, uh, this masculine is going to actually hit a wall and going to have to, especially with the sun in reverse and going to have to compromise because the burden is too heavy to carry. This card represents, um, struggles and burdens and just, um, you know, things that are very, um, burdensome and heavy to carry. And so, but in reverse, that's good news because, um, if, if this, new direction and this risk is taken and this compromise is made and is definitely the the trouble will be over so that's all it's really been it's been a struggle to compromise it's been a struggle to pull somebody probably out of their comfort zone and they were trying to um i don't know hold on or maneuver in it but but right now it's like it's about a it's yeah now, is that in reverse? Yeah. We have the fish again. So we got a seven here. So this sevens are completion. Seven are also, it's a very fortuitous number. It's a fresh start. We already had the child out here. And this is the king of pentacles. Okay. So another thing is somebody is trying to compromise. They may have to just compromise and give up some money. Let's just be real. With the sun in reverse, you know what I mean? The delay or the, the disappointment or whatever was probably because, you know, trying to be slick, trying to, you know, hide some stuff in the hen house because there might be a treasure in that hen house too. You know what I mean? There may be a treasure in that hen house that the masculine was trying to hold or keep to himself. But the, comp the compromise is just give the money. Just give it up because there's so much more abundance on the other side of this. This is the King of Pentacles right here. This card represents the King of Pentacles. So, you know, this is about um, a business owner. This is about making money. This is about having money. This is about getting money. This is about knowing how to get money. This is about stability. It's about abundance and wealth. It's about knowing that, you know, there will be more. All right. Compromise because there will be more. All right. Crossing a bridge. This card is card number 11. Another, all the suits represented in this card, but this is about crossing a bridge. You know what I mean? When I see this card, wow. I was feeling a lot of strong, hierophant, high priestess energy, both like a strong spiritual energy, meaning you're overcoming obstacles. This is a bridge. You know what I mean? Be a bridge. I feel like the masculine and you are, um, you're willing to be a bridge to help because you see now that I feel like your trust level, divine feminine, there's a settledness is coming. I don't know if it came from this howling and howling or um, roaring with the wolf moon and the lit, uh, full moon in Leo, but I'm saying um, divine feminine, there's a bridge or there's a bridge here and you can see it's kind of was treacherous whatever this was like look at the card it was kind of treacherous looking but there are there's a bridge to the other side all right i don't know so much about that you probably were over there feeling like where are we going to go from here but the compromise is change positions change perspectives go another direction and there's a bridge that takes you right to the other side if you look at the card there is no way on this side to get down you just come and you fall why does that look so much like the hen house to me again? These houses right here look like the hen house to me. These little, see, I don't, see the little hen house in the back and these houses right here? They look similar to me. I don't know. Anyway, but it's like a bridge to you either way. Like I'm going to come this way, pick you up, and then go on across the <laughs> And then grow across the way. So, you know, it's like, it's got to be a compromise. Boom. Messages are coming in. This is the seven of pentacles. Again, this is um, messages coming in about how to do this because you guys have both invested time. You've invested in this person and this person feels like they've invested in you. And they're also receiving messages from the divine about how much they have invested, about the new path that they need to take. Because everything that you guys have gone through in this relationship is preparing you for what, what you, what you are believing for. Like in, in spite of, not in spite of what you've gone through, but because of what you've learned along the way, because of what you, what overcome and conquered. Um, where's the, um, oh Lord, where'd the cross go? Y'all know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the cross. Here it is. Right. See, you overcome obstacles right here. See, so in spite of what you've gone through, um, but because of what you've gone through, the struggles, the conflicts, the, 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 the sneakiness, you know, the not knowing, you know, not knowing that all the time, because this wolf, look at this. You see that there there's that to me represents a person standing in the, not standing in the way, but watching like, this is like sound the alarm. Somebody, somebody could sound the alarm. I feel like this masculine is tied to something that, you know, 
you know, would, would have a problem with him being with you is what I'm saying, or have an issue with it. All right. Whatever that means, whatever it is, you are an issue. And there's a, like a, a guard there, a, 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 somebody that could, you know, sound the alarm. And I say it again, but this Fox has a plan. This Fox might be like, see how he's going in a different direction. Like he sees, he knows, right. That, 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 that rooster is standing there, but he's just like, da, 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 minding his own business, living his life, but really thinking of a plan the whole time. Because remember the hen is the prize. Foxes, why well, I keep wanting to call him a wolf? Foxes love hens, okay? Foxes love hens, all right? And you might have somebody that's trying to keep you away, like saying, this is crazy for two. Anyway, anyway, let me, let me try to stay on track. So um, this is these are messages coming from the divine about the um, effort that has been put in, about the um, investment that has been made in this relationship. And it's about the beginning, the middle, and the end. Remember, it's all it's all about um, cycles of energy, beginning, middle, end. And I feel like you guys are coming to the end because you have threes are about completions. You're coming to the end of all the sneakiness. You're coming to the end of the burden. You're coming to an end of feeling like you're at a roadblock where there's a bridge over the troubled waters. You know what I'm saying? So... I might call it that. So compromise is, is the word of the day. And then one more card. <laughs> yep. It came out in reverse. There's the snake. So then we have, all we need is the flowers and we'll be done. But the snake, there's another seven. Let's turn it over. Um, Queen of Wands is here, but no more deception. Like I said, no more deception. There is there is a bridge. There is a way. There is abundance. You know, there is compromise. All right. There's a bridge. There's a way. There's abundance. There's a compromise because it's about the Queen of Wands. It's about that hen in the hen house. It's hen in the hen house. Mm-hmm. One more. I said I said that was the last one. But this series is, is the last one, and then we'll look at the bottom of the deck and give you. There it is. Aha. Again, same card messages. Let me tell you in this deck, these cards represent the same thing. These see, they're both number 12. They represent the same thing. This one is, um, and they're both seven of pentacles because there's somebody, like I said, there's somebody like watching you guys. If you know that you're kind of being watched or somebody has a really, uh, a keen interest in who you're loving. I don't know why. Who's loving you. Ah, ah, ah. Who's loving you? I'm thinking about Michael Jackson. But anyway, somebody has a vested interest in who's loving you. So there's a lot. This represents a lot of gossip. This represents a lot of chatter. All right. This is the divine giving downloads and messages. And this is the people. See all the people around the bird cage, not the bird cage, but the bird house. Now we got a hen house and a bird house. I don't know. But somebody cares about who you love. And I don't know why. And you know where your story is. But I'm saying there's a lot of chatter around. But that's coming to an end because all you got to do is make a compromise. You know what I mean? Compromise. All right. And this also is communication, too. This is a text. This is a letter. This is a message. This is... Um, uh this is contact, okay? So a lot, lots of communication going to be happening, especially since the snake is in reverse, the um, the cross is in reverse. You see what I'm saying? You know, the deception, the 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 burden that's been removed because a compromise has been reached. That bridge, where's the bridge? I keep going back through. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta drop these cards better so I can find what I'm looking for. But there it is. Is that the bridge card? There it is. Which is again eleven. If I didn't say that, look at that. That's number eleven. New beginnings, right? And also karma. You're, you know, what I'm saying karmic debts being paid. You know what I mean? Um, the child was out here with the newness. Let's see what's at the bottom, and then we're out of here, you guys. <gasps> oh, 33. 33 might mean something to you. Eight of pentacles. Working hard and expecting a payoff. Seeing your labor paying off and feeling as though you what you are creating will finally benefit those and those you love. There's a compromise. And with that compromise, there's the key. There's the wisdom. There's the strategy. That key represents wisdom, strategy, illumination, understanding. It represents unlocking the mysteries. It represents a knowing, okay? And then with this cage, that re that rose represents that pure, beautiful love. Like that hen house, okay? So the cage is open. The key has been um, the key has been shown. The key has been given. All because of compromise. Compromise was the key, okay? Compromise was the key. So... 33 represents uh, the six. Sixes are a sign that a cleansing is in order. Things from the past are being released. It's um, letting, the, the masculine is letting go of stuff of, of him, parts of himself that no longer align with his purpose and his, and you know, where he needs to be. I love that. He's compromising. He's no longer compromising on what he wants or who he wants to be with. And look, this fox got a plan. Okay. This fox has a plan. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Look at that. 
and that and that's the goal. See, see what he's looking at? He's looking at that cage with that key. <laughs> Look at that fox. Not a bad thing. The fox isn't a bad thing. This is good. All right? Crazy like a fox. So we got a five and a six. Look at that. 14, five, and a six. Okay? I love it. At which is what? 11. <laughs> that was fun. All right, you guys. That's the midday snack. That's the midday snack. Oh, my goodness. This fox has a plan. Compromise is the key. Oh, I love it. Okay. And on the bottom, let's see the bottom. Oh, this is nice. First card out is freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The pathway is clear if you want it to be. Look at that. There's nothing stopping you. The pathway is clear. You see that cage is open. He got, he's going to get that love. Compromise is the key, right? And then finally on the bottom of the deck, sacred, union, honor, and treasure your relationship. For it is truly sacred. Mm -hmm. Don't be playing. Don't be playing. Compromise is the key, okay? And you'll get you'll gain something as well. Oh my, I can't help it. The bottom of the deck when I move this card. Look at the stork. Ah, movement. Eights. Eights are new beginnings. Eights are what? Seeing your hard work pay off. Eights are manifestation. I love it. This is the midday snack. Y'all enjoy your day. I talk to you guys later. Until we meet again, guys. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.